Woo! We are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. Ken Domic from KBD Productions TV bringing you yet another food review just for you and just for you. So, in Bradford, I was driving by a, an extreme pita and I remember from like at least six months to like two years ago, people have been asking me to go to pita, extreme pita pit or extreme pita, that's not called extreme pita pit, just extreme pita. I think there is a pita pit though. And uh, I thought I'd go in there and check it out. Never been before. Uh, they cook the food. The most I'd say most of the food is, especially the meats and stuff, they're already cooked. So when you want chicken, then they get a scoop of chicken and they put it on a grill. And then they add all your stuff to it, all your veggies and all the other stuff and then sauces, whatever. And then they mix it all together. Then they put it in a bowl, mix it all up, jam it into a pita. I went with the regular pita. They have a small and a regular. And the small is $7.49. So let me know in the comments below if that's too much money. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's already like a buck too much. I'm not sure. I've been to other places and most of the places have everything already done and they just whip it together and it's done. Uh, this place actually kind of cooked it for you just before you eat it. And so after taxes, it came to 8.46. And so I got the Chipotle chicken. I thought I'd go spicy, spicy and flavorful. Uh, I can't remember what I was going to order. When I first walked in, I looked at the menu. There's something else on their menu I was thinking that would be kind of cool. So these things work sometimes, sometimes they don't. I've got this little tail sticking out the back end. Ooh la la. All right, so I just got that, brought my own water, so I don't have to drink pop or milk or anything. Ah, nice. Something fell out of there. It looks like cheese, but I'm not 100% sure, so let's not eat it. There you go. Nice pita. I wish they like threw in the microwave or something just to, I don't know, moisten it, ba moisten it back up. You can see as they're kind of opening it up that it looked like it was kind of dry, but uh, I hope it's not. Are you ready? Here we go. I went with everything, and I think that everything was cheese, lettuce, red onion, tomato. The chipotle sauce is very smoky. Really nice flavor to that. The uh, the pita it just it, it seems to be a little bit on the the dry side, but that's why I brought my water. That's not bad. Looks pretty nice. Uh oh. Hope that wasn't chicken. Out of all the things I want to fall on my pita, don't want the chicken to fall out. So far, I'm liking it. Fresh food, except the pita's not that fresh. <laughs> yeah. Stale pita. Did you see that? I thought I was biting the wrapper. I don't think I'm supposed to make that sound. I stopped biting hard because I honestly thought I was biting into the paper. It was that hard on that side. Pita, extreme pita. Like I said, if you just nuked your uh, your pitas before the people tried to eat it, might help not have stale pitas. Like I said, the flavor of the chipotle and the chicken and the veggies, everything there is fine. Let's take another bite and see if that same situation happens on that same spot. Because that would be a little bit of a fail, I think. Hmm? Mm. It shouldn't be that stale. I tried to give restaurants as honest a review as I can. And at the moment, Extreme Pita, if I was working there, 
and I felt that the pita had any part of it that was a little bit stale, I would not give it to a customer. So I'm a little disappointed in that. I think that's the first time I've ever had a, a pita that was that stale that I couldn't bite it without having to wrestle it to the ground. That's my only complaint really at the moment. Let's see if we can bite that again. Yeah, I've never had to wrestle my food like that. Let me know in the comments below if you've eaten at Extreme Pita and if you've got a stale pita before. I'm pretty sure if I wanted to spend another 20 minutes standing in line, they'd make me a new one, but that's not the point. The point is they shouldn't have given me this in the first place. So sorry, Extreme PETA, maybe you need to talk to this store and let them know that it's not a good idea to serve stale PETAs to the customers. Because then they tell people through YouTube and social media and Yelp. So it seemed that it was just that one little area. So this area seems to be fine. A couple more bites and it's gone. Let's do it. I can't in good conscience do a one o'clock in the morning shut up bite when I was served a pita that was stale. But again, it was just that one area. How am I supposed to do a one o'clock in the morning shut up bite? That's not supposed to like encourage anybody to go get one. Sorry to be a bummer on this one, ladies and gentlemen, but <laughs> it happens. Again, in normal situations, you could probably go in there and then make your fresh one and everything will be fine, all forgotten. But that's not the point of this show. Last bite, just for you. Mm. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, all done. On my rating scale, I'm gonna have to give Extreme Pita a total indifferent on this one because they've served me a pita that had a stale uh, pita, uh, about that much of it was stale on one side of that pita. As you can see, I was pulling it like cardboard to try and tear off some food so I could eat it. Uh, all the inside stuff was totally fine. I'd give that, if the pita was fresh, I would have probably given that a would recommend, uh, but I'd like to try a few more of their pitas to find out where the uh, the go and get it now stuff is. So Extreme Pita, you know, make sure your store people don't try to give uh, customers stale pitas because they'll give it a bad review and then people might not come back to your store. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. If this is your first time visiting KBD Productions TV and you don't want to miss the next video and you want to see more, click that subscribe button here and, hit, and click the notification bell. But if you enjoyed watching me eat a stale pita from Extreme Pita, click it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 and we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Ken Domic out, boop. Extreme Pita, a in Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. All done. I gurgled. Did you hear the gurgle? I heard the gurgle. One more time. One more time. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.